please drive to highlighted route. Hey guys, what's going on? Eighty five northbound to um, sixty four to the uh, ninety five.
How's it going, y'all? Love you too, baby, I will. Statesville Road. Narrow lanes were reported on I-77. I will. Alright guys, so as usual, I'm going to kill the chat on my end. Please hang out. I'll check in with y'all when we get fuel. Thanks guys for hanging out.
for guys to catch. at the traffic light. Make it to 85 before I see you behind me. There is much light through there. See if they can see 
Diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety meds, everyone's on them. If you're a 50-year-old male, maybe a bit porky, and you may even have type 2 diabetes, a million dollars of term insurance may only cost you about 200 bucks a month. Call Term Provider. Speak with Big Lou at 800-244-0909. Big Lou will find a term life policy for you even if you have type 2 diabetes or overweight or have high blood pressure. Term providers help thousands of people like you who think they can't afford term life insurance to buy a million dollars of affordable term life for you. All you need to do is call Big Lou at 800-244-0909. Lou will make sure the scales are tipped in your favor. Call 800-244-0909. Big Lou will answer your call and work to fit you into a term life policy that you can afford. Remember, Big Lou's like you. He's on meds, too. Call 800-244-0909. 800-244-0909. What did millions of Americans and three former U.S. presidents have in common? They all agree that Bowl and Branch sheets are the softest and most comfortable sheets in the world. Missy and Scott Tannen started Bowl and Branch to make the softest, pure, organic cotton sheets on Earth. Bowl and Branch cotton is rain-fed, pesticide-free, and carries the highest organic certification. That's why it's so soft. They work with family-owned mills all over the world to expertly weave every set of Bowl and Branch sheets with the highest level of handiwork and craftsmanship. It's quality you can feel the moment you open the box. And because they sell direct to you, Bowl and Branch sheets start at just $160. They're $1,000 quality for a fraction of the price. Plus, you can sleep on them for a month, risk-free. And right now, you will get $50 off any sheet set at BowlandBranch.com with promo code XM. Spelled B-O-L-L and Branch.com, promo code XM. For $50 off, BowlandBranch.com, promo code XM. Restrictions may apply. See BowlandBranch.com for details. I am the one, back with a full throttle and roar. I am the intersection of chaos, karma, love, legacy, family, and flag. Back with one thunderous return. I am ready for you, if you are ready for me. I am NASCAR. The NASCAR Cup Series on NBC and NBCSN. Brought to you by Xfinity.
Xfinity, wow, let's go for it. But I think he needed a little bit more experience in the trucks prior to jumping to Xfinity the way he did. But I think now I would love to see him get a full-time ride from a really top-notch team in the Xfinity and stay there and, you know, prove himself in the Xfinity, get some wins behind his belt there, and then when he's ready, move up to Cup. But I don't think he's ready to move to Cup.
Investors, want steady cash flow and safety? NRIA is making special accommodations to help at this time. Today, investors are extended a higher than normal 10% monthly payout return from our real estate-backed Class A Buildings Fund. You'll receive steady 10% monthly payments to your bank account. Have real estate backing you, not just paper assets, and obtain returns with bonuses targeted at 18 to 21%. NRIA's 14-year track record and now... Oh, that person was a dang genius. Get 10% monthly electronic cash flow with total yields to 18 to 21% right now. Call before this special offer is over. Call 201-210-2727. That's 201-210-2727. An offer to buy or sell any security is only made by a private placement memorandum. Read it first. Past performance is no guarantee of future results. Results are annualized. National is a real estate development firm. See us at NRIA.net. Not having identity theft protection is like fumbling around in the dark. Ow! Monitoring your credit and bank statements may not be enough. With your info in so many places, cyber criminals can use it to steal your identity. Yuck! LifeLock helps detect identity threats like your info on the dark web. No one can prevent all identity theft and monitor all transactions, but LifeLock sees... <laughs> What you could miss. Take the Get up to 25% on the right off your first year with I-85 Primal Code. Out. And LifeLock.com. Plug only on it. So at the 24-7, 365 coverage of all things NASCAR is found right here. This is Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. NASCAR headline now. Michael McDowell collected his third top 10 finish of the season Sunday on the Daytona Road Course. His crew chief threw Blankenstern for joining the late ship last night and said with a driver like his, he'd be happy to add as many road courses as possible to the schedule. Take the exit on the left to I-85 North toward Greensboro. And we've done it and put on as good or better shows than we've ever had in the past. So why can't we run at night at Daytona on the road course and follow it up with the old board or something like that? I'm a fan of road racing, especially with Michael McDowell as my driver. The last five or six years, the fans have spoken. Road racing is exciting with these stock cars. And uh, the more we can do it, especially at a cool place like Daytona, why not? For his part, McDowell joined us on Sirius XM Speedway yesterday and echoed those sentiments, suggesting that you'd like to see added to the schedule. Well, I could think of five or six that we could have to play for the uh, But no, I think it was great. I enjoyed it. I mean, obviously, Super Speedway racing is, uh, is fun as well, good for the fans. So, uh, but yeah, I thought it was a great road course. And, you know, I love to see the road course because I think that you know, there's a lot of tracks out there that would be you know, really uh, put on a good show for our, our cars and our style. I think you know, the Indy road course is good.
be able to shout all the way back. I think the six feet is pretty quick and then kind of make some damage on the fender and then have a tire up. So it's like, okay, well, now we're going to hit and fix that and bring it back again. I was pretty worried at that point because we weren't going to be able to get back there, but, uh, you know, our best for a camera was just really, really fast. And, and uh, you know, I really, I really enjoyed the racetrack. I, I felt like I uh, figured it out pretty quick. And, people was able to uh, to take advantage of that. So it was the overall fun day, but, uh, you know, what might have been, I guess, is, uh, is really the question. I know we don't spend a lot of time around here talking about the what-ifs, but this one is kind of appealing. If, if you were able to go out there and have a mistake-free day, Chase Elliott certainly did, were you good enough, you think, to go head-to-head -head and maybe beat him at the end of the day? Well, you never know because uh, we didn't get a chance to race with him. You know, like in that first stage, we uh, we pitted early. Uh, you know, in, in hindsight, we probably should have should have you know, stayed out on that first stage. But you know, hindsight always. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it would be fun to see. I mean, based on the lap times, uh, we were definitely you know the best of our time. So like that again there, you know, he had a big enough lead where he was just uh, taking care of as well. So. Uh, you know, a few more laps we were going to get there, I feel like, and maybe challenge with uh, the 10 and the 11, but, you know, it, it doesn't matter now. I mean, it's over and, and we didn't win, so we, uh, we need to figure out how to, to quit uh, beating ourselves, and, and certainly I think responsibility for it on Sunday. We jumped about it a little bit, but I am, I am interested in, in hearing a little bit about your mindset at this point, because if, if you don't finish any worse than third for the rest of the year, and the old hip away it looks like you might at this juncture. You will certainly race for a championship in Phoenix, but I'm not sure third place wins you a championship in Phoenix. How are you looking at it? Yeah, I think um, you don't really have to be the team that we're at right now. And obviously, um, you know, we want to be winning races, and you know, third place is good, but, um, you know, I feel like along this stretch, we've had, we've had cars get full play, uh, you know, on the, you know, at least three of them. So, that's really what you need to have. You, know, you need to uh, you need to be running up front. You need to be consistently uh, leading laps and, and fighting for wins. And, you know, we're definitely right there. So uh, I feel really good about where we're out as a team. And you know, uh, the track's coming up. And yeah, you know, we'll just uh, we'll just see if we keep the momentum rolling. And, and uh, you know, when you're fast and things are clicking and, and making sense, um, you know, it's it's always a good feeling. So uh, hopefully, we can continue the success we've been having and step it up a few spots. Aside from eliminating mistakes, is there anything else lacking right now that will keep you from, from contending for or winning as a second championship? Not that I can see. I mean, I think uh, I feel really good about it. So, yeah, you never know what can pop up. And, you know, we've seen, uh, we've seen over the years that, you know, somebody can, can get out at the right time and, and come out of nowhere. But, um, you know, I feel like we're good. We've been, we've ever been. And, um, you know, we don't have the wins that we've had the past few seasons. But, uh, you know, I feel just as confident as the past years. And, and hopefully that'll, uh, that'll show through. That'll show through here in the next 13 races or so. A, uh, a doubleheader this weekend at Dover on the Monster Mile. Uh, you'll carry the straight on Saturday.
you run, you know, a pair of 200 letters there, it's, it's a challenge. So, um, you know, any any uh, any amount of time on that racetrack is is tough. So, uh, you know, we'll be ready for it. I think right now, just trying to uh, trying to get my hand to heal up. It, it took a little bit of a beating there at the road course as far as uh, blisters and you know a little bit of bruising and stuff from eight million shifts, but. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm you know, feeling good about Dover. It's, um, it's definitely not, not the hottest place on earth. And certainly, it's no, nothing to be quite as hot as when we just went through the tunnel. So, uh, I'll be ready. We won't be excited about it. And, uh, you know, I think for us, it's just uh, trying to continue doing what we're doing. Yeah, I think uh, 600 miles in two days is, is no joke there. So, we'll see how it goes. Well, show me about the hottest you've been in a race car lately. I, I was trying to remember one. And I have to go all the way back to those Talladega in July races to, to remember what that was. You know, we've had a few in the last couple of years. I think, uh, I don't remember if it was the two years ago, Chicago. Uh, or was last year, Chicago. That was a hot one. Uh, you know, a few years ago, Charlotte, we raced in daytime. It was, it was a hot, humid one. And I think Daytona probably takes the cake, though. I mean, just with the high downforce package and the right side window. And, I mean, I, I tried to, you try to explain to people, and, and you know, everybody's talking, you, you were there, you were on group, you were talking about how hot it was. Well, I'll tell you, when we got out of those cars for the, for the lightning hole that we had, it felt like air conditioning outside. Really? I mean, that's how hot it is in there. I mean, yeah. everybody's out there, oh my God, so hot, I'm dying, I'm pouring sweat. You get out of the car, it feels cold. So that just tells you, you know, how hot it is in there. It's absolutely brutal. When ambient temperature of 110 degrees feels like air conditioning, man, that's a that's a hard way to make your picture. I mean, it's, you know, it's one thing to say it's my job and I have to do it, but I can't even imagine. It's like being a Thanksgiving turkey after about two hours in the oven, man. Oh, there's no question. Yeah, if you turn your oven on 140 and hop in there for a couple of hours, I don't know. I mean, I think I think I, I would say I speak for everyone as drivers that that's of our job. That's probably our least favorite part is is dealing with that heat because it's just miserable in there, you know. But it's part of it. You got to do it. You got to be prepared for it, and you have to be able to you know execute and stay focused and all that. You know, driving that car on the edge every weekend uh, of being that hot. So it's just something I guess you've got to you train yourself for you get used to, but it still sucks. Is there a uh, is there a state of the art sports medicine cure for a bruised and blistered hand, or is that something you're just going to have to tough out again this weekend? <laughs> Hopefully, it'll be it's, it's getting better pretty quick, and I'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. Yeah. And even if you worry, you just you just suck it up and go for it. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah we're, I mean, what's your option? <laughs> you don't really have an option, so you're going to be able to do it. Stay home is not allowed. So, I, I, I hate to do this, but I'm going to ask anyway because I probably won't, won't get a chance to chat with you again beforehand. Final race of the regular season comes at Daytona. And I know in, in the last couple or three years you have used the conservative strategy, kind of hanging out in the back and, and trying to stay out of trouble until late. It has not exactly paid off in spades. One top ten in your last eight Daytona starts. That's a, a second back in July of 2018. Do you switch things up next week, or, or do you stick with them? Oh, I'm definitely switching it up. I, I, I'm just, just going to say screw it from now on. I mean, are you? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, like you said, I, I've tried that strategy of, of, you know, trying to ride around and carry it, and it, it worked one time, not all the time, but I tried to do it, and that was, you know, 2018, as you mentioned, we were in second, but he, he did still, I mean, it's still, we got lucky to make it through a few of the rings.
Vega this year and tried that, and our car was so far off that I couldn't even do that. So we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. Luckily, we're uh, you know we're locked in, and we don't really have to worry about too much. So uh, hopefully, go there and have a good run. Maybe our first one today, so maybe we'll switch to the road course. That'd be all right too. <laughs> we we walked in for the playoffs, and it doesn't seem possible that we're only two weeks away after everything that's that's gone down this year. You know exactly what to do when the playoffs come. You've done it and you've won it. Is the is the been there done that factor in terms of dealing with everything that comes your way at playoff time an advantage for a guy like you? Absolutely, no question about it. And not only me, but I think our team. You know, being there, uh, understanding the the stress that you're under, being able to make decisions in those moments. Um, you know, it's 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 definitely tough, and it's something that you know after doing it a few times, you can start to gain more confidence. And uh, you know, the biggest thing is just those big decisions. Um, you know, big moments, big stops, strategy, and all those things you can't let the moment affect your decision. That, it gives you second down, so uh, I feel like we'll be ready for it, no problem. Hopefully, uh, you know, like I said earlier, hopefully just keep the performance where it needs to be, and I'll take care of a lot.
our super soft 18 hour jersey, high performance Aeronet X microfiber, and antimicrobial silver made with, you guessed it, real silver. Whatever your preference, we've got an option that's guaranteed not to roll, bunch, or chafe. And thanks to our signature mesh zones, we keep you cool where it counts. And all that rolled in underwear is backed by our try on gear. It's on us. Make the first thing you put on Mac Weldon. You'll be glad you did. Get 20% off your first order at MacWeldon.com with promo code XN. That's 20% off your first order at MacWeldon.com with promo code XN. MacWeldon.com, promo code XN. I am Robert Strickler. My wife Joyce and I have been married for 53 years. We've been blessed with six children. I've been taking Prevagen for at least eight years. Prevagen seems to help me recall things and also think more clearly. And I enthusiastically recommend Prevagen. It has helped me an awful lot. Prevagen, healthier breed, better life. Now available in stores everywhere. Robert Strickler is a content contributor for Prevagen and real user. I am the one back with a full throttle. Slight different taste to it, but 
not that much. Not like a lot of energy drinks where they end up changing the flavor totally. Yeah, I'm a beast, you know, now that I 
interruption real quick. I need to find out where uh, um, the buddy that's following me is. I don't see him at all and I've been going slow to let him catch up. I gotta do a stream interruption guys. Sorry. 